uh, hi everyone so we will not talk uh, in depth on serverless or all these different kind of applications i'm just giving you the platform you can explore more so what all we have talked about is we just talked about the serverless command it, with this command you can actually create a simple application so you can decide you want to deploy it on the aws or what is your platform node.js python or something else you can also use like sls package right this will create a package sls is same as serverless just a shorter version of it there is another command is sls login because you will be able to do deploy if you are logged into the serverless framework so sls login will just prompt to the browser and you just need to log in so that you would be able to enter into the serverless console right there is another thing sls deploy right this will help us to deploy your application to the serverless if everything is fine uh, i think here node.js lambda things are not good so it's not deployed i mean i have not configured the all the other things in the serverless.yml okay so here we will take a look on to a simple serverless project which is just about building a simple rest api and all the other command here you can see serverless invokes sls login sls deploy sls package similarly it, it is also providing you to uh, test this package locally right sls invoke local right it will just invoke it locally and will orchestrate the same thing so if we just try to clone this and try to see then we would be able to do this i think uh, what we can do is there should be some way to execute it locally without cloning so sls serverless provides that command let me just check that So here we are talking about serverless REST API, right? So I will just explore that command and then we will just start with this. Okay, so here we are talking about a simple REST API. AWS uh, simple Node.js app either we will we'll clone it and then we will do it so to execute this simple endpoint we can actually exit so we have already have this serverless already installed we'll go one step back we are in the lambda folder and we'll execute this serverless install with this right aws node simple http endpoint it will create this application okay so it should clone this successfully created this application okay now we are in this application and we can see the serverless.yml and all this is a simple serverless.yml a simple one simple post api and we can also see the handler the node.js code for our lambda it is simple get call it is i mean it is just returning us this message here we can invoke this locally we just need to provide the function name right what is our function name it is current time right in the, in the serverless you can see what is our uh, package name this is the current time is the function name here this is the highlighted one and that same we are invoking our serverless version does not satisfy the framework version in serverless.yml I just edit this just remove this and then we will deploy this again just try to invoke it locally again yeah here we will we got it so we can see that uh, some deprecation warning which we can ignore and that we got this message right we run this successfully now if you want to execute it uh, on the serverless so you can what you will do is serverless deploy what it will do is it will try to deploy this application on serverless so it is packaging it the security token invalid request is invalid so is it like i should log in and then i would be able to just give it a try it will do the login using default browser sign in with google that's it 
Now, once I do the SLS deploy, I should be able to deploy this application if everything is configured properly. SLS deploy. Okay, so let me figure this out. Even after doing SLS login, it is not allowing me to deploy this. Otherwise, what we can do is we can just go and create an application on the dashboard because it is doing the same thing. Here you can pick the REST endpoint like uh, Express here, right? You just deploy the, the REST app, click on to deploy, configure your AWS, and you'd be able to do the same thing from the local also. Either you do this or you just install it like this. It will actually clone the project and then you do the serverless deploy because you already have a serverless YML and you already logged into the serverless so you should be able to deploy this okay so this is pretty much about uh, how we invoke uh, lambda locally and how we are deploying it with the serverless serverless command sls deploy sls login sls package and all these things okay we haven't done any complex thing because i want to keep it very simple if you want to get started with the serverless Come here and on the serverless website, you can just look into the documentation and you can do a lot of things. Serverless is not something new. It is like uh, now five or six year old. Okay. Cool guys. Uh, thanks everyone.